Welcome to Excel Lab 10. Excel Lab 10 introduces you to the VLOOKUP function. This is how the VLOOKUP function works. The VLOOKUP function has three parts to it. The parts are called arguments. Arguments are a fancy way of saying what's the question you have to answer. VLOOKUP involves answering three questions. Number one, what are you looking for? Number two, where do you want to search for? Number three, once I find it, what column's value do you want me to give you? Let me give you an example of it. VLOOKUP open parentheses, A2, comma, employee ID salaries, exclamation point, dollar sign A, dollar sign 2, colon, dollar sign B, dollar sign 28, comma 2, and close parentheses. Here's what the three parts mean. The lookup A2 means look up the number in cell A2 of this spreadsheet. That's followed by a comma with this particular question that you have to answer. Well, this is saying look up cell A2 on the employee ID salary spreadsheet, specifically in cells A2 to B28. When you find the number that matches A2, return the value in the second column of cells A2 to B28. Now let's look at the spreadsheet and how it's going to work. This is the spreadsheet. It begins here. And we're going to make it into a table. So this is the administrator's table, which has the employee ID, the person's title, and other biographical information such as their name, address, and phone number. The salaries table simply has their employee ID, the department they work in, and what their annual salary is. The VLOOKUP function enables you to look up, for example, this employee ID. You're going to look up that particular employee ID in this range of another table. You're going to find the salary that matches it. And you're going to put the salary into this table on a particular cell. That's how the, the VLOOKUP function works.